Hello comrades and welcome to Juche Lessons. In this episode, we will be discussing the development of independence, creativity, and consciousness of humanity. General Secretary Kim Jong-il once said, quote, Independence, creativity, and consciousness are mankind's social qualities, which take shape and develop socially and historically. End quote. Since mankind has physical organs and structure, including hands, legs for upright walking, and a highly developed brain, we can conduct thinking activity to understand the surrounding world and working activity to transform nature. In other words, we have thinking and working functions which are not available in other animals, with the result that we can have independence, creativity, and consciousness. However, it would be incorrect to regard independence, creativity, and consciousness as inborn or biological qualities. Our developed physical organism and its peculiar functions are a material, natural, and biological foundation that enables mankind to have independence, creativity, and consciousness. But independence, creativity, and consciousness are not granted directly from the foundation. An example of this can be found in the existence of feral children, including a boy who grew up in a group of animals in the forests of India in the 60s. He cried like animals instead of speaking and crept like animals instead of walking. In a word, Although he has human physics, he behaved like animals. This tells us that the essential features of mankind, which are not found in any other beings, are not given directly by the biological foundation. The essential qualities of humanity have been formed and developed historically when people live in a society because mankind is a social being. Animals make instinctive activities to adapt themselves to the change of the surrounding world, or use ready-made things in nature, but human activities to create new things that do not exist in ready-made forms are a material cortex of thinking, and the activities presuppose language, the means for the exchange of wills. The activities to transform consciousness, language, and nature are only possible by forming social relations with mankind. Human ancestors accidentally made the first labor of biological and instinctive forms such as picking fruits with sticks and cracking shells with stones in the course of group life. And with continuous repeat, the physical organism necessary for thinking and labor were gradually shaped and developed. And in this process, social relations were originated in group lives. Social relations provided objective conditions that stimulated and accelerated the transition from the origin of consciousness and language, accidental labor of biological and instinctive forms, to conscious and purposeful labor. The emergence of humans, a material being, is synchronized with the formation of labor, consciousness, language, and the developed physical organism, and the formation of society. Mankind's physical structure and function, consciousness and language, and labor 
are mankind's peculiar criteria that are fundamentally different from all other material beings. The formation of social relations are a fundamental condition for the formation and development of all of mankind's criteria. The completion of humanity's physical structure and origin of consciousness, language, and labor are social products. They have social characters. Mankind's consciousness is social consciousness and language is the means of human social intercourse, while labor is social activity. Mankind stopped being a simple biological being who moved blindly according to our instinct since we formed social relations and became a being who transforms nature and society purposefully and consciously. Moving from the process of evolution and entering onto a new stage that develops socially. So mankind's independence, creativity, and consciousness are not immutable or abstract attributes, but concrete attributes that are formed and developed socially and historically, and are acquired through social life and social practice. Now let us look at each attribute briefly, and I will expand on these in the following episodes. So first let us take independence. The contents of man's desire for independence and its realization are not the same in every stage and period of social development. Mankind desires to live independently, free from the fetters of nature and social subjugation but cannot escape from fetters and subjugation of all forms in a single stage of history. Through a long period of struggles, humankind has gradually freed ourselves from fetters of nature and social subjugation, raised the levels of desire for independence, and continuously struggles for its realization in conformity with the concrete socio-historical conditions and our preparedness. For example, slaves in slaveholder society raised it as their demand for independence to free themselves from inhumane subjugation and bondage from slave owners. While the working class in capitalist society fights to abolish all forms of subjugation and bondage of humankind by humankind. Mankind's creativity is also a concrete social attribute that develops socially and historically. We have creative ability, and that creative ability is formed and ceaselessly develops in social practice to reshape nature and society. The history of the development of science is the development of cognitive ability. And the history of the development of productive forces is the development of mankind's practical ability to transform nature. Since the Stone Age to the latest scientific technical successes like information equipment and automatic machines, including computers, robots, biological engineering, and nanotechnology, the process of the development of social productive forces and science and technology was the historical development of humanity's creative ability. Humanity's consciousness is also a concrete attribute that has different contents and levels according to the historical age. Mankind's consciousness depends on the contents of ideology and knowledge, its levels of development. Consciousness is a social attribute that determines mankind's cognition and activity. Therefore, the more humanity's activity is strengthened to develop society, understand, and reshape the world, 
the higher consciousness humanity requires. On the other hand, people are deeply aware of their demand and interests according to the development of social life and social practice, and to their level of ideological consciousness and technical knowledge, another aspect of consciousness, and they foster their strong will and strength in accordance for its realization. This tells us that independence, creativity, and consciousness are not unchangeable, immutable, or abstract attributes, but are concrete attributes that ceaselessly develop along with history. They are attributes that are inherited to new generations through social practice and education. A newly born baby does not recognize its mother for a time, so ideology or knowledge is inconceivable at this point. But it knows to cry and suck milk when hungry, sleep when sleepy. It does these things without learning. This tells us that humans, as a living organism, inherits instinct from parents biologically, but not ideology or knowledge. It is through family education, school education, and social education and through our direct social and practical activities, we acquire independent ideological consciousness and creative ability peculiar to a human being. So the Juche idea clarified that mankind is a social being with independence, creativity, and consciousness thus putting an end to reactionary philosophical disputes about humanity's instinct, giving the most accurate, revolutionary philosophical clarification of mankind. Humanity is a highly developed and most powerful being in the known world, a being who dominates and transforms the world. And we will expand on these concepts in upcoming episodes, starting with going into more detail about independence, creativity, and consciousness separately. That's all for this episode, comrades. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages for more Juche and DPRK content, which I will leave links to in the description of this video. If you liked what you saw, Please remember to like, subscribe, and share so we can raise the revolutionary consciousness of the masses. And also because I run solely on your motivation and encouragement. Red salute, Juche comrades!